I'm rolling. Bourbon barrel beer. Bourbon barrel beer cheese. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Bourbon barrel beer cheese. <laughs> come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. We're Steven and Andy, and we started a travel vlog back home in California at a time when we couldn't really travel. I really hope you see baths. It gave us a great excuse to get out and see some things we've been putting off for way too long. Hasn't been driven in a few years. Hey guys, we're in Eastern Kentucky today, and we're gonna try some uniquely Kentucky food and of course some bourbon. We're on the lookout for beer cheese, which we're hoping to get for lunch, some Kearns Derby pie, and we have a tasting lined up at Woodford Reserve. We also have something special for this evening at our Airbnb, so let's see what we get into. Okay, our first stop today is lunch. We're at Windy Corner Market, and this place came recommended to us by a relative who has other relatives here in Kentucky. They told us about this chef. I think her name is pronounced Wida Michelle, but I'm going to put it on the screen because I'm not sure and I'm probably butchering it. Anyhow, she owns several different restaurants in this area of Kentucky. This is one of them, and they said anything by her is supposed to be excellent. We're on the search for beer cheese here. And I saw it on the menu. So let's go see what it's all about. All right, you guys. So here's what we've got here. We have bourbon barrel beer cheese, which is a big deal down here in Kentucky. And look at this. We've got these crispy, soft pretzel sticks with it and some crudite as well. And over here, we have fried banana peppers with a couple of sauces that go with that. And over here, we have frittered artichoke hearts. And I can't wait to get into all this stuff. We've never heard of fried banana pepper rings before, but these are amazing. They need to be everywhere. Kentucky's got something really right here. Mm. Okay, we're gonna see what this is all about. We're gonna try straight up without any sauce first. Mm. Mm. That is so good. Crispy on the outside, really fluffy on the inside. And actually, it feels like I'm eating a crab cake is the texture. This is delicious. I gotta try the beer. Okay, when I think of Kentucky, I think of three things. Louisville Slugger baseball bats, and I'm not really a fan of baseball. The Kentucky Derby, not a fan of horse racing, and bourbon and moonshine. So we're going with option number three. We're gonna have a tasting here at the Woodford Reserve Distillery. Let's go. The reason we chose this distillery is because they have a woman assistant master distiller. And when we did our research, we discovered that that's a very recent thing in this industry, as recent as just the past couple of decades. We didn't film the tasting for probably obvious reasons, but here's a look at the shop. That tasting was really cool. We learned a lot about how they make all different kinds of whiskey, including bourbon, which is their original and they're known for. But now... We're making our second bourbon stop at the grocery store. When we were researching this trip, we learned about the first and only black owned and operated bourbon distillery in Kentucky. It's in Louisville and we had hoped to visit it. Unfortunately, it's so new that they haven't even opened their tasting room to the public yet but they do distribute to major retailers, so we decided to buy a bottle and set up a tasting of our own back at our Airbnb later on. We're in Stamping Ground, just a little bit north of Lexington, 
and we got the coolest place to stay tonight. Wait till you see this. This is the former gatehouse to a distillery. Come inside. All right, so right away when you come in, you come in this really cool little office space. You might notice a lot of buffalo details around. That's because it used to be called Buffalo Springs Distillery. Come on over here in the seating area, you can see we got this lovely big bourbon barrel. And on the wall, you can see we've got Buffalo Springs Distilling Company. And does this look familiar? Woodford Reserve. Back here, we have the kitchen. It looked very modern, everything you need, obviously not original to the distillery. And check it out, even the hand soap is a bourbon bottle. Over here we have the bedroom with more buffalo detail inside. And back here we have this really spacious and luxurious bathroom. If you take a look inside, they've got these great hammered copper sinks and other details that are really perfectly in character with this old stone building. settled in here for the evening at our Airbnb. This is so cool, isn't it? I love it. So as we already told you, there was this distillery that we had wanted to visit in Louisville, uh, but they weren't quite ready for us. So instead we went to the grocery store because we still wanted to support, right? We got ourselves a bottle of the Bro Brothers and we're gonna do our own little tasting here. And who knows, maybe one day we'll get back to Louisville and we'll actually get to tour the distillery once it's open. Absolutely, gotta give that a try. The smell. Ah, oh, it's so sweet. Cheers. Cheers. So we learned today in our tasting, by the way, that when you take in the aroma of a whiskey, you should keep your mouth slightly open. If you smell it with your mouth closed and then smell it with your mouth open, it's kind of amazing how different it it's is. It's a really surprising difference, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that smells nice. It's very light, it smells crisp, fruity. Let's try it. That goes down easy. That is really smooth. Let's uh, chase that with some of this pie. Yum. You guys, Kearns Derby Pie. If you're not familiar, this was originated right here in Kentucky by the Kern family in 1954. And what it is is walnut and chocolate chip pie in a pastry crust. And apparently, if it's not a Kern's Derby pie, it's not a Derby pie. So. That's right. Also, really funny thing about the name, we were wondering why did they call it Derby pie? Turns out it was developed by this entire family and everybody had a different name for the pie that they had created. So in order to settle it, they threw them all in a hat and picked one out and Derby Pie was the winner. So there you have it. Let's try it. That's delicious. Good morning. Good morning. We are in Lexington, Kentucky today. The city's beautiful. So nice. We're getting breakfast at this really cute deli. Let's eat. Yeah. Got my coffee, ready to start this day. All right, I've got some eggs and biscuits. And this is kind of an odd thing to have for breakfast, but I had to try it. It's a tomato bisque with artichoke. It looks really good, and it's a cold day today, so it'll be good. I've got a couple of scrambled eggs, and of course I had to get the biscuits, and also the cheese grits, because I love those so much. The place was so cute, and oh my God, the food was excellent. So amazing. And we chose that place because it had a lot of vegetarian options. A lot of the other places we were looking at, um, they didn't have so many options, maybe one entree. So we love this one because they had a lot to choose from. Of course, it's easy to go veggie when it's breakfast, but they also had some great lunch options, like I mean, everything for meat eaters, like pulled pork or lamb burgers, things like that. But also they had a mushroom Reuben, which I would totally try if we were there for lunch. That sounded really interesting. Yeah. Like, I love Reuben sandwiches back in the day, and I haven't had one in I don't know how long. They had lots of other lentil soup, the tomato bisque, things of that sort, and gosh, was that place adorable. It so. was so comfy in there. It was like you were in someone's house. Yeah. Basically, it was. 
Be sure you all tune in on Tuesday for our two minute travel Tuesday. We found the quirkiest place on the way from Mammoth Caves up here to Lexington, and we're going to show it to you then. And as always, you guys, thanks for watching, and we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time. Former gatehouse of a distillery. I gotta do that again. <laughs>